Hi, thanks for checking out our channel. Um, this isn't really going to be a repair video, more than like, like a show and tell kind of video. Um, this is an, I don't know how I acquired this. I've had this thing for months or years. I don't know. I've got a bunch of these old units in my collection of stuff. And this is an old stocky. I don't know who made it back in the day, but um, sold by Tractor Supply back in the day. Six volt unit, because um, back... This is non-solar. I mean, they didn't have a solar panel for this. It was just a standalone six-volt unit. Because back in the back in the day, before twelve volt really came on board with things, uh, everybody was using six-volt you know, batteries for six volt on the tractors or old cars. So people had six-volt batteries laying around. They were easier to get their hands on. And eventually, twelve volt stuff came along, and it took a little while for fence chargers to convert to twelve volt because most manufacturers were still dealing with six-volt stuff. And I don't even know how old this unit is. Pretty good shape. I mean, it's got some metal case but it's got some rust and some dings on it but other than that it still does work that's the neat thing i don't know how old this unit is 40 plus years old i would guess and it still works um so we're gonna flip the switch on it has a little light here time so this is a mechanical one it's a little wheel that puts some points on it it still technically works the transformer is arcing on the inside of itself um you know can't get any parts for this thing anymore and in the little wheel uh where the points make contact they got a little crust little tarnish on them so they arc every time they make contact it's kind of like an old point ignition on an old car or an old tractor or whatever and on the ignition system so this got one point where those had you know four six or I don't know how many it coil or however many cylinders or words how many points you had for the spark plugs you see you hear it, you kind of hear that wheel going kind of hear it moving inside and that other thing but see the little light still works But uh, it does have a pretty good sh shock coming from it. So we'll put a little screwdriver across there and see it has a little. It shoots about a, I would say three eighths of an inch spark out of the thing. These aren't low impedance. These don't aren't rated in joules, not ra really rated in miles or whatever. They were just a, you put around a, a garden or a small area or a small stretch of fence, you know, back in the day, and you wanted to keep the bulls away from the heifers or you wanted to keep the cows away from the hay or want to keep possums out of your garden, you hook up something like this. Um, it does have a pretty good draw. Uh, it draws about 0.4 amps, so about not quite half an amp draw, about 300 milliamp draw, roughly, about 350 400 milliamp draw so it's got a pretty good draw for what it is i mean it's not very strong but it has a pretty good draw to itself so i'm gonna turn it off real quick so i don't shock myself by accident and we'll pull this cover apart come on it's turned on whenever i put the case down but you see it it's a little wheel moving there let me turn it off for a second just turn my power supply off but that right there there's a makes kind of a little capacitor i don't remember what size it is it's sitting underneath this housing here it's hiding um when you apply power to it the capacitor charges up kick starts this thing and this thing takes that energy from the capacitor and it puts it into a set of points here, which puts it into the transformer, and trash takes that amount of voltage it's building up from the capacitor, builds it up, spits it out to your fence and ground terminals, and it also ties into this little light right here, which is right here, a little resistor on the other side of the, on the, other side of the light from the power side, so it doesn't, kind of helps the uh, uh, light bulb out, protects it from the high voltage so it doesn't burn the bulb up. Um, but yeah, every once in a while I can see down inside this corner here down inside and actually underneath here where it's kind of dark uh you can see it flash every once in a while so the transformer you see the transformer starting to go or the um there's a bad contact underneath there or something you know maybe some moisture got in this thing at one time so i'm power so my power supply power supply back on you see it arcing a little bit right there Maybe. Not 
Not really showing up on camera very well, but it is, it is arcing right there. The points make contact. I don't see it arcing or anything like I was earlier. So maybe the contact that we made this dirty contact and it's starting to bleed that, you know, starting to burn off, burn off that carbon or whatever it had built up on there on the connection. Turn the power supply off for a second. But down inside here, underneath this thing, there's a, you can kind of see it. Yeah, there it is. See that, the thing kind of jiggling around right there? That's a little, like a, a spring. It kind of tightens up. And you get to a certain point, it flings it back. So it kind of retracts and kind of goes like this and kind of when it when it coils up and flings it back. I don't know what to call that spring exactly, but it's like what they used to use in like old clocks and uh, old watches back in the day for the timing for to make the thing move and the little wheels move uh, for the for the clocks and watches back in the day. There's a different application of it. I'm I'm guessing. So, but um. It's pretty neat, you know, they don't make things like this anymore by by any means. You know, nothing's built like this anymore. This is electromechanical, nothing's mechanical now. Everything's all done by computers and circuit boards and stuff. So, but now uh, it's old school. I see if there's a date on this thing anywhere, and I don't see a uh, date stamp. Sometimes they would either write down or they would... Uh, Uh, stamp it somewhere, but this one's not dated anywhere. Um, I don't know. Maybe the uh, serial number has some kind of date code in it. I don't know. Let's put the serial number on there. 10501. I didn't tell me anything. Unless that 50 is the year. Maybe it's 1950. I don't know. This is older. I mean, this, this isn't built like in the 90s or the 80s. It's probably built in the probably 1970 something or older i would it's pretty good shape cosmetically but that could have been that's been sitting on a shelf in a box somewhere in someone's barn for decades where they finally found it and decided to sell it or get rid of it or whatever i don't remember how we acquired this either i don't remember if i found it on ebay or a guy sent me one uh and this was part of his batch of stuff that he sent in i don't i don't i don't recall what the story was behind this or maybe I bought it. I don't know. But, I, you know, I, I've got it now, so it's here. So, um, but yeah, it's a pretty neat old school unit. Now, these are ones that, send something like this, then this will be like a donation to the place because I can't fix these things anymore. Uh, can't really get much for parts for it at all unless you can find another halfway working unit and then maybe still parts of that one to fix this one you know that that sort of story for but for being 40 50 years old it's still running i mean it's older than that I mean it's older than 50 years i don't know well that's it for this little video i just wanted to kind of show you guys this thing i figured some people would get a kick out of it seeing these old units but there's our information right there if you got an old fence charter needs to be worked on fencerfixer.com is our website there's our address phone number and call or text me and email me all brands and ages which technically i would work on this one if i had a chance but i probably would have struck on on this thing if i if it came into to me for repair and something was wrong with it probably would have struck out i would have tried i would have done something i would have fiddled with it but if i couldn't have gotten it going you know, you wouldn't have owed me anything. It would have been a free quote. You know, that sort of story. But in the meantime, until we another, another, uh, do another video, we'll talk to you guys later on. And I hope you guys had a good day. And share this video to your friends. You know, might, someone might get a kick out of it. Tell your friends about us. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And, and until next time, see you guys later on.